Hello students. Today we are going to be learn about business communication from the Yeshwa Bcom. So I Ajinkya Patil now going to be start with the first very first unit of our business communication, which is introduction to the business communication. Okay, starting with our points, first slide that we are going to be learn today about the meaning of communications. Then meaning of business communication is definition. Then importance of the communication, process of communication, types of communication, and barriers to communication. Today we are going to learn this major six points about business communication. So starting with the communication. So what is communication and what is business communication? Communication is the exchange of ideas, thoughts, message by speech, visual signals, written, or by behavior. So, whatever the message which is going to be conveyed by the sender to the receiver by any medium, whether it is his idea, his thoughts, his message, his information, uh, his emotions, his feelings, when it is going to be conveyed from one person to the another person or a group of person, it is known as the communication. So in other language, we can say that it is a transmission of ideas or feeling that the sender and receiver share the same understanding. So the only the ideas thought which is not going to be conveyed from sender to the receiver, but the so the receiver should understand exactly what the sender wants to convey. Then and then the communication is going to be held. We can going to be say that. So the when the communication is going to be happen between the senders and the receiver, the senders can be the single person, the receiver can be one or many. It is known as the communication. But the senders and the receiver should understand the message, should having the same understanding, same level of the thinking, then and then only the successful or effective communication will going to be held in it. Uh, now, when it is going to be say about a business communication, so what is the business communication? So business communication is that the communication which is going to be done within the organization for the organizational purpose for a commercial benefits it is known as the business communication so in other language we can say that the whatever the communications of thoughts idea message information which is going to be held within the organization or outside the organization for the benefit of organization and the commercial benefit such type of communication is known as business communication so business communication is going to be having different types it can be oral it can be written it can be verbal it can be non-verbal communication that we are going to will see in the further slide so there is nothing different between communication and the business communication communication is that Whatever the communication which is done between the senders and the receiver is known as the communication and all the such type of communication which is going to be held for the organization by the organization within the organizations it is known as the business communication that's the difference between communication and business communication further we are going to see the importance of communications so what is the importance of the communication as we know that in a professional world uh, the communications play the very important role not only for the growth of the organization but the growth of fact each employee the working person of the employee his personal growth will also going to be depends directly or indirectly on with the communication if the employee which is going to be having the communication skills which is better it can be easy for that person 
to survive in the organization to get his work done properly correctly and if the communication is going to be having the excellent skill it can going to be successful in his career path now the further we are going to be say that the communication not only plays the important in the professional world but to get into the professional world or to get a successful and get a proper knowledge you should having the communication skill <clears throat> to earn a knowledge also or to get a work the communication play an important role because if you are going to be properly convey your message your thoughts your feeling to the receiver and if we exactly understand what you are going to be saying then such type of things will going to be beneficial for the person to get a job to get a promotions to get an increment to get appraisal what are the things which is going to be give, or to get the credit for the work what are the credit work he has been done so communication it plays an major an important role the communications can be written communication the communication can be oral or by gestures or the body language that we are going to be see in the further slide uh, as we know that the when we are going to be say the communications the english communications plays a very important role because nowadays there is a global policy and the global working sense and english language is going to be accepted globally so what are the communications which is going to be held at a workplace which having the diversity as we know that the india is a diverse country each state or each city having the different language and the working habit so most of the conditions the english is going to be preferred as a better or a common uniform way of communication so the speaker in english writing the in english played an important role and the communications it is a soft skill which is going to be needed you in the organizations to form an organization to build an organization or to work in the organization it's play very important role okay in the next slide we are going to be see the process of communications when we are going to be say the process of communication any message thoughts idea or information when it is going to be convey from sender to the receiver there are n number of elements play and it having the particular process or a format we can going to say it is having the sequence in such a sequence only the message is going to be transfer from sender to the receiver so such type of process or a sequence it is known as the process of communication so when the process of communication is going to be there so what is the process and what are the elements in the process of communication that we are going to be see in the slides okay the communication is a process by which information is encoded channeled and sent by a sender to a receiver by a medium so the elements which you are going to be seen on the slides which are going to be the sender receiver encoding channels feedback decoding are considered as a elements of the process of communication so all the forms of communications whether it is going to be oral it is going to be written body language such type of communication the channels play an important role to transfer the message from sender to the receiver so what are the elements and how the process or the sequence is there for in the process of communication that we are going to see in a few other slides okay so as we are going to see the process of the communication the image is going to be seen that at the very first thing there is a sender sender from which the process of communication is going to be start so at the very first stage there is a sender when the sender keep the message in his mind or he will going to be deciding all the process and from the sender the process of communication is going to be 
initiated or started. After sender, the message is going to be there. That message has to be encoded. So when we are going to be say that whatever the message he has to be or she has to be given to the sender, uh, there are the encoding system which is going to be done. So encoding is that the message is going to be encrypted in a, some of the symbolical order code format so that other the receiver only going to be understand such type of message. After that message, it is going to be the channel or we can going to be say the medium by which the sender is going to be decide by which channel he has to be accept for the communication. So whether it is going to be the channel can be the going to be the written communications or written communication also having whether he will going to be sent by the post, whether he going to be write handwritten, whether he going to be sent by the WhatsApp, whether he going to be write a mail or a newspaper, magazines, blog or internet website such type of channels he is going to be decide or by which channels the message has to be convey after that the channel is going to be decide the further we are going to be see the decoding so when the message is going to be reach to the receiver it has to be get decoded because what are the symbols and the code language which is going to be done by the medium or a particular sender it has to be again get into the readable format because the message is going to be de-encoded means that it is going to be encrypted in a different formats. So that very from format that it has to be converted. For example, it is going to be converted by message in a WhatsApp medium. So WhatsApp is a to an encrypted system. So what the encrypted system is going to be do? it will going to be convey that message into some of the binary number machine language or that so it can be going to be convert or it can send by the whatsapp server or a internet to the receivers whatsapp so if when the receivers whatsapp going to be receive that message it will going again converted into the particular similar format exactly the same format which the sender has sent so after sending that message uh, this receiver is going to be received it it going to be decoded and then receiver is going to be read or listen the particular message which is whatever the message format he is going to then the receiver is going to be understand that message what the sender has to be sent and after sending he will going to be give the feedback to the receiver until and unless the feedback is going to be completed it is not said that the process of communication is going to be completed so from sender to the feedback the process of communication play in a circular mode because the sender has to understand that way a message is going to be received to the receiver he has understand read or listen the particular message and he has not what exactly message has to be conveyed after that the receiver whatever the feedback is going to be given by the receiver to the sender then the sender is going to understand that the whatever the message has to be conveyed it exactly going to be understand what he is going to say or there is a misunderstanding if the feedback is going to be the different it is considered as a misunderstanding that the process the message which of exactly sender want to send it is not going to be understand by the receiver in a similar pattern and it is going to be got misunderstand there was a miscommunication we can going to be seen and in whole the process whether the communication is not going to be completed at any stage of level it is known as the noise or we can going to say at brain drain it is considered as the barriers to communication there can be the different types of barriers by which the communication will going to be stopped and at the any point the communication is going to break it is known as the barrier for the communication hmm? furtherly we are going to see the each element in separately so the components of communication or we can going to say the elements of the communication the first is sender to initiate the process of communication by a sender 
developing the idea into the message is known as encoding so when the message which is going to be in the mind of the sender it has to be put into the his words or it in the mouth or in on the paper whether it will be going to return so his idea which is going to be run into the ma his brain has to be came on out of his brain in a return or readable format it is known as the message so if there will be the idea information thoughts into the sender's mind that has to be convert that idea thought feelings expression into written or into the words format so that the person can understand that after that the message is going to be completed sender has been going to be transferred transmit that message to the channel method for example we are going to be say that the mail phone conversation telephonic conversation uh, short sms which is going to be the instant sms then face to face communications or even by the medium of the facebook by the medium of any other applications whatsapp telegram mail system and there are the different internet uh, there will be the video conferencing there can be the telephonic communications or one to one communications or there can be the pamphlet newspapers articles books uh, this all is considered as the channels by which the sender is going to be communicate with the receiver next we are going to see the receiver so this is the receiver which is going to be the person who is going to be move that message to him understand whatever they want to be there and the receivers are the person who is going to be at the last stand of the process of communication and before that the message which is going to be get or received by the receiver with the help of any channel or a medium it is going to be understand read interpreted what is it going to be understand the meaning what the sender has to be said and it is known as decoding of the particular message and if we are going to be interpreted that message correctly the feedback which is going to be given by the receiver to the sender will be true and the correct okay and that is going to be the last part of a communication element which is the feedback so in a critical component the feedback will going to play properly whether the receiver is going to understand that message or whether it is going to be the miscommunication the effective communication is going to be get the feedback so until and unless the feedback is going to be received to the sender the process of communication is incomplete and these are the channels and these are the sequence in which any problems occurs it is known as the process of communications that will be the barriers now in the further slide we are going to be see the types of communication so communication is going to be happens in a different way there is a one way communication there can be the two way communication right now the communication is of one way because i am speaking the students or the viewers of a particular slide are not able to reply me back in a one to one situation they are going to get a video on the youtube platform so the type of communication is going to be known as the one way communication whether the receiver is not able to give the feedback instantly on a particular way so it is considered as a one way communication whether the sender will going to be transmit his message information thoughts and the receiver will just going to be received that information but still this process will going to be complete because on you you can going to put a comments on your video chat and then it is going to be received to the sender but for right now it is a one way communication then the two way communication in two way communications the receiver is going to be immediately give the feedback and the ask the questions like the whatever the learning teaching learning process which is going to be happen in a traditional way within a classroom activity such type of activities is considered as the two way communication whether when the teachers are going to be 
we ask the questions and the students will going to be reply or students will going to be asked the questions and the teachers are going to be give the satisfactory actions whether the both the receiver and the senders are together face to face or in a telephonic or a written communication by mails there will be the communication so such type of communication will going to be play the two way communication then there is a furtherly it is also going to be known as the verbal communication so verbal means the oral and the written communications and the non verbal communication non verbal communications are the communications by which when the person is not going to be convey his message by orally or by any written medium still the message are going to be convey it is known as the non verbal communication there are the example of non verbal communications which are we are going to see in the further slide uh, which is going to be the gestures and the body language the personality what are the gestures are going to be made it is going to be considered as the body language which is going to be convey the message by orally some of the gestures we are going to know that some people you to wave their hand which is considered as the handshakes uh, whether the thumb rights which is going to be there the, all the best and all types of gestures which we are going to be communicate the message is known as the non verbal communication then the further we are there are the communication of formal and informal communication the formal communication which we are learning which is the business communication all the communication which happens within a business organizations it is considered as the formal communication which having the some of the protocols and the rules in the informal communication what are the communication which is happen outside the organizations in a group of friends and the family uh, in unofficial way it is considered as informal communication then the further type lip which is upward downward and lateral communication so upward and downward communication which happens in the organization from which the top management communication to the lower most employees of the communication such type of things will where the hierarchy from the top to the bottom the communication is going to happen such type of machine is known as the downward communication and from the water level of the uh, charts or the bottom level of the employees going to be communicate to the top management such type of communication is going to be known as the upward communication and the lateral communications or horizontal communication where the person at the same level of the post like a top all the employees all the managers uh, all the board of directors are going to be communicate within them it is considered as the horizontal communication then interpersonal intrapersonal and organizational so interpersonal means the within the organization there are the communication which is going to be done is known as and the mass communication means that there the sender is going to communicate to large number of audience such type of communication is known as the mass communication furtherly we are going to be say okay now the further we are going to be see the barriers to the communication so barriers to communication are the uh, because of which the communication is going to be stop hmm? or the process of communication is not going to be completed properly such type of thing is known as barriers to communication so when there are the problem which might be cause occur to distrock or problematic in the communications is known as the barrier to barriers or effective communication so the communication is not going to be affect or it can going to be completely stopped by the peoples but their effective communication is not going to be happen because of the some of the restriction or obstacles or which or can be the going to be destructions within the problems such type of destruction or the problems it is known as the barriers to communication we are going to learn the four types of barrier which is going to be the physical barriers then we are going to learn about the psychological barriers then there are the semantic barrier and organizational barrier one by one we are going to be learn in further slide about the barriers okay so now the first barrier which is going to be the physical barrier so what is the physical barrier the physical barriers are the 
physical obstacles which is going to be there in the process of communication such type of known as the physical barriers so it the first point can be going to be the distance because of distance the communication is not going to be possible for that the communication is found obstacle for the long distance like a communication between the america and nepal in america and india so there are the communication is going to be obstacle because they are of the technological say that or there will be the uh, network issues are mainly thing there are the lack of the day time because in india or nepal we are going to be say the day time there is a night time so such type of distance can going to be play or a stop the communication then there is the second time which is the noise so when we are going to say the noise the communications it form the external effect the communication like there is a disturbance unwanted noise sounds are going to be there so in which type the external sounds or a noise is going to be obstruct the message or the thought of a sender to the receiver the noise can be at the end of the receivers also and it can be going to be at a point of the senders also so when we are going to be do the effective communication both the senders and the receiver should having the silent situation so that the water the exactly the sender is going to be say it is going to be understand by the receiver so noise can be going to be and there are the further or other physical barriers also then the next which is going to be psychological barriers so what is the psychological barrier so perception it is the process of accepting and interpreting the information by the receiver people receive the thing differently and which for the various number of the reason so when we are going to be say that the perception the each receiver is having the different perception about the receiver or about a thought so when the receiver are going to be given the information or get the information from the sender it cannot going to be get effective or effectively by the receiver because the perception of the receiver about a sender or about a particular message can going to be different so what are the efforts which is going to be taken by the sender about that person to change the perception it is going to be fail because of the barriers or in the psychological barrier that the in the mind of the receiver are going to be there then there are the filters so the filter in the process knowingly or unknowingly some of the valuable information may be disposed so what are the filters so if time of the for a currently examples the i am going to communicate with you with the help of a youtube channels so the video is going to be get filtered or unwantedly some of the important point may be going to be edited at that point so knowingly or unknowingly that information is going to be destructed or cut by the particular video so information is not going to be provided or given till at the end of the receivers can be and there are the last point of the psychological barriers which is emotions so emotion also create a barriers in the effective communication like anger hate mistrust jealousy there are the some of these are the emotions which are going to be there so if the particular person is angry and the receivers is going to be angry and whatever the sender is going to be convey whatever the such information he will not going to be in the state of mind to interpret that message or information to understand that information there can be the hate or there is a mistrust between the senders so senders whatever the information he the sender is going to be given to the receiver whether it is true but the receiver is going to not having the trust on the sender it is not going to be accept that message and because of that the effective communication is not going to be happen so these are the psychological barriers for the communication then further we are going to say about the view points so what is the view point it create the barriers in the effective communication the point of view which is going to be having about a receiver about a sender or a sender having about a receiver so 
the message is not going to be clearly understand or it can be going to be ignored by the particular people or the group of people so the message is not going to be created properly so the viewpoint or the point of view of a particular receiver or sender about the message or about a sender and a receiver it can affect the effective communication if the viewpoint of an sender about the receivers are going to be not good so he will not going to be put his 100% for that effective communication so that whether message is going to be conveyed by him his preparation will be going to be less because of that the message is not going to be conveyed properly or in a reverse situation the receiver are not having the proper message or a proper understanding about the receiver it can going to be play a very important role or receiver are not thinking that the message or a topic which is going to be there in a communications are important so it can going to be change in the further sense both having the effective communication skills and both having the point of but the point of view about a particular topic is not good so viewpoint can going to be make an obstacles in a communication then there is a which early receivers receive the message that is strengthening the interpretation of the message in the same way it creates the barriers to communications okay then we are going to see about the semantic barrier so it is used in a difficult way or we can going to be say that it is a linguistic barrier so when the language words figures symbol create a semantic barrier so one image can be interpreted differently by the different people it is his point of view to interpret what the message is going to be having or saying then there is the languages play an important the language which is going to be done for the communication or which is going to be utilized used for the communication the receiver and the sender should have the proper command and same command on a particular language if the particular person is going to communicate in a different language that the receiver are not understanding so in a similar way the communication will not going to be happen because of the language the language which is not going to be understand by the receiver uh, the message is going to be conveyed by the sender in a, that language or in a reverse condition the particularly message which is going to be provide that language receivers are going to be understand language that language is not going to be having the command on the senders so in such case also the linguistic barrier language barrier play the role or otherwise the language is not going to be the similar but the long or complex sentences use it should be the proper a small sentences simple language should be going to be it not going to be the heavy words and the very long and the complex words should be going to be used in such case if there is a long words are going to be used it can going to be create the semantic barrier then the jargon the technical unfamiliar language create a barrier the message should be simple consider as the there should be no possibility of the confusion so the receiver has to take a proper precautions that whatever the message he is going to be proper it should be simple and up to the mark so that there should no be the confusion or misunderstanding so in detail the message has to be provided to the particular receiver so that the exact whatever the interpretation the receiver are going to be take it should be what the sender has going to be decided it should not be going to be misinterpreted there should be no loop souls or there's no chance that misinterpretation is going to be happen in detail the message has to be conveyed next we are going to be see about the organizational barriers so when we are going to say about the organizational barrier it's right from the organizational goals regulate structure and the culture so the every organization is going to be formed for a common motive to survive in a com their work for the longer duration and make the profit so 
to survive in the longer rotation and to earn the profit there should be the working should be systematic there should be a team work has to be arranged and that team will going to be convey properly thoughts his faults emotions and if that message is not going to be conveyed properly it play the barriers to communication so the organization has to run successfully there should be a the proper planning if there is a pro poor planning on the designing encoding the channels conflict in the signatures such type of thing can going to play the barriers to communication for example like the internet facility are not going to be there so the student car not able to get proper message from the university and the college so it play the message has to be conveyed five days 10 day 15 days before because that there are the chances that their message is going to be conveyed within there so if one day there is no internet facility other day internet facility is going to be there but there can be the different problem the light issue internet electricity issue the power cut uh, there will be the some of the uh, emotional psychology barrier for the week or two weeks so all the obstacle can going to be reduce and eliminated so that has to be done the proper planning and you know, the structure complexity so in organization there are the structures like there are the hierarchy uh, their information has to be flow free flow there because in organization there are the some of the information which can going to be convey from a or top management to lower person but say there are the some of the confidential information that is going to be secure so that you make a chaos and the complexity so proper rules and regulation which information has to be shared which information is confidential uh, what is the process that communication is going to be happen the proper structure is going to be made if there is a no proper structure the message from the labors or employees to the management will not going to be received and the uh, message of the management to the employees will not going to be happen so both the goals of organization as well as the employees has to be properly understand and interpreted so that such type of organization will going to be learn the communication process and effectively organization will going to be grow okay thank you students